All right, guys. Welcome back to another video on the XML <coughs> data weave. And I have this XML created right now in front of us. Okay, I'll give a small exercise after this part of this video, and I want you to figure out how to do that. If not, you can always comment it out, and you can reach out to me. I'll help you out to do that. So as you can see here, you have this uh, namespace student information. This is a root tag and this root tag is starting over here and ending over here agreed and there are multiple um, xml tags it starts with student and with student here student student and within that student you have information uh, the information has the attribute id attribute id attribute id and the first name and the last name okay kind of a very simple thing let's copy this go back to our playground and paste it okay and I have the payload over here right in front of me okay now <clears throat> how do we work it out how do we loop over this so I'm going to convert it into JSON this time mm, because XML to JSON the example is XML to JSON that's a thing that we're going to figure it out cool so payload dot um, let me scroll down this a little bit here okay so what's the first hierarchy let's mark the hierarchy hierarchy is um, let me go back here what is the hierarchy hierarchy is student information okay we can do it here itself student information that's the first hierarchy and then within that you have stood okay within that you have student within that student you have information within that information you have last name and first name first name that's the hierarchy and we are going to use this okay so let us see how we can use in our tutorial okay i wish can we pin it to top there should there should have been an option in windows where they could have pinned to top okay let's do one thing let me highlight like this maybe that would be better okay cool awesome okay this is good now payload dot the first hierarchy which is a student information i'll take this and add it so you got the student information next dot do you guys remember the descendant operator i've spoken remember there are see this there are multiple let me close this itself this is not even required for me okay that's better uh, what happened okay dot remember this descendant operator here you have student 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 which means you want to descend it okay you know you can use it with dot star operator dot star student okay let's go with the student now you got this student information and then um let's use the map operator map um let me not use the item and index i'll just use this directly and i'll say that uh f name or just name full name full name is nothing but dollar dot uh, dollar dot i since here i'm already have traversed here and here now i need to traverse here so i need to extract this information over here okay so information dot uh, first name first name plus plus i'm going to concatenate plus plus with again copy this dot uh, last name okay so what did we understand so here is the thing first the payload the entire payload then we navigated to the first hierarchy here first hierarchy then we navigate to second hierarchy that's the second hierarchy then you are mapping it then while you are looping over you need to loop over this loop one loop two loop three while you are looping over it extract the first uh, extract the inf first name and last name and where is the first name and last name it is within this hierarchy information and then the first name and the last name that's how we have extracted it now it's time to extract this attribute goddamn attribute where is attribute attribute is within the information here you have the attribute id okay so which means you know how to extract the attribute right the 
that is nothing but student id uh, dollar not sorry not dollar 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 dot information again you have to be within the information information and at the rate id dot at the rate id dot at the rate id now you can see you got the attributes now can we filter based upon the attributes yes you can filter it's uh, quite natural right so use here you remember you can use either here or here anywhere anything is fine okay anywhere it, it's up to you and i'm happy doing over here because that's a good practice no there is no such thing good or bad practice it's your mind practice okay so filter uh, dollar dot dollar dot again information dollar dot information dot at the rate id if it is greater than or equal to 102 now can you see this you got only two things okay so that's uh, one way of filtering it okay let me expand this come on okay, what happened to the payload okay there you have the payload now that's uh, the exercise for you guys is how do you filter with the help of the namespace this namespace you have to add it over here and filter it out that's an exercise i'm going to leave it to you guys see if you can work it out okay that's uh, one part of the video now the next part of the video is that Mm okay um let me think about it so we have seen that how to how do we insert the attributes how do we insert the attributes in the xml that is something we have to look at it for that i need to pause the video a little bit because i have to prepare the example let me prepare the example and i will let you guys know until then take care and wait for it okay guys i have prepared this example <coughs> and in the example it's quite simple again so you have the again i love this student information student information start and end tag and this is the student details nothing much i've just removed and added few things in the student details you have name year id location simple okay name year id location let's go back to data weave and try to figure out a way how we can extract the information and add the attributes add the attributes okay which means the intention of this exercise would be take any one of these and add them as an attribute at the rate attribute okay so the, let's do that okay as usual what's the hierarchy okay so we have brought up into uh, again as usual into the right unit uh, of adjusting the frame window now let's get the hierarchy okay uh, how do we get the hierarchy so first is student information followed by student details followed by then you have name year id and location okay oh, oops sorry location that's it now this is the uh, hierarchy that we have so let's get it coded the first thing is that as usual um payload come on no since we are in xml we have to start with the root tag the root tag would be student info we'll say the student info okay colon and then obviously i need to start with the payload so you got bunch of unnecessary things here uh, which is of no use okay you got everything actually see everything you got it now um let's extract the first hierarchy this is the first hierarchy dot student information dot student information okay now you got the student info okay student information oh what is this student info is it okay no that's correct student info is nothing but this guy so if you can see the student info the start tag and the student info end tag and then the student details that's nothing but this hierarchy okay cool we got it then what i'm going to do is that and i'm going to say let's map object let's go within map object and the type of the object okay let me remove this the type of the object that i want to enter into is the student details 
student details okay and then as usual uh, the lambda function and then get into it okay now we are in the student details now we are going to loop over the student details we are already looping over the student details now let's give the student details here as usual colon and then enter like this see now you got all the student details can you give something else here d1 see it's up to you see first of all you are mapping over student details i mentioned that we are mapping over student details and inside that you can give anything okay you can even give crazy ha ha ha, ha. it's it's fine okay i'll just say i'll just give student details as it is okay and then within that obviously you can say uh name is dollar dot name no dollar dot i believe you have to give student details dot name no uh, this doesn't work out like this uh, okay there is no dollar because you have given the name as student details here see and you need to maintain that okay so if you give as d1 then you need to give it as d1 here itself okay yeah, this is nothing but your item okay remember this item okay so item dot name okay item dot name so instead of this item i have just given this student details okay uh, you guys are aware of it by now okay so but that's not the exercise the exercise is to add the attribute how do i add the attribute um i'm just thinking okay let's do this so we'll say the name the name the name is the first tag okay name and i'm going to say at the rate at the rate um name at the rate i'll say location location is by default i'll say in okay in and i'm going to comma and i'm going to give another attribute here at the rate student details student details dot here 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 colon then student details student details dot name guys did you get it see here what i've done it's as simple as that i think you guys are expert by now see here till here it's clear we have used the map object and i have done that first thing i have taken the name which is nothing but this guy name see, it starts with the name you can give anything actually you can just give full name it's up to you full name see full name okay and you know how the attribute works add attribute at the rate attribute and i've taken the name as location this name location and i've hard coded the value to in i hard coded the value to in then i've take another value which is year year and to extract this year i use student details dot year because hierarchy one hierarchy second hierarchy student details dot year and that is the reason it's populating 2005 now if i want to give the id uh, simple give comma and i'll say student id student id then you can say student details dot id see 101 102 you can apply the filter object as well here up it's up to you filter or filter object you know how to do it we have just seen it before in the previous part of the uh, video not video in this video itself we have seen it but i want you to end, i want you to perform the same in, even here as well if you want now at the same time you can even perform a mapping on the location as well see if you want i'll say that um, comma location okay um student details dot location that becomes your location and in that location um what else if i say dot star location okay which means i am looping over each location i am descending the lo descending the location and within that i am you going to use the map operator okay map operator and within the map operator what i'm going to do is that uh let me remove this tag i'll say uh, location 
at the rate LOC I am going to say by default India and then I am going to say colon dollar I am going to end it but that becomes another headache can you see this if I do something like this actually I am explicitly creating one unnecessary locations here I have created a tag called location location tag and then I have mapped over student details dot star dot location which means mapping over each location India, USA, Canada, UK and in that I am saying by default the location is India see by default another location is India which I don't want that see this uh, if I remove this makes no sense and if I wrap it across let us see what happens now that also makes no sense okay uh, but anyways it's fine uh, just wanted to experiment something crazy but it did not work anyway so that's how that's how you kind of add the attribute in the middle of the XML tag now with that being said uh, let's move on in the the next thing that what I wanted to capture is that you guys know how to loop over now you know how to filter it now you know how to add the attribute and um, yeah, there is one concept which I wanted to talk in the next video. I'll, I think I'll pause this video here. Um, but before that, you know what? Wait, let me give a small example. And then in the next video, we'll talk about character data, C data. But before that, I wanted to give one small example. Say, if you have something like this. Okay. Uh, something. Okay. And uh, someone okay and then you have key value pair k1 null okay k2 null you get something like this and you want to convert it into xml can you see this okay now there's a there are a couple of attributes which i'm going to show in the next video uh, inline header properties you can write the inline header properties it's like inline um, close on I just remembered on top of my head right now but to, I if I add something like this can you see this inline it's closing it see here just pay attention to this part of it if I remove it just see if I remove this see this it is the difference see? okay so that's something here there are a couple of attributes here as well which I'm going to show explicitly in the documentation. I'm not going to remember, neither you should remember. You should see the documentation and read it. That is something we're going to see in the next video. Until then, take care and have an awesome learning. I hope you do the exercise. Please do not forget. Okay, bye-bye.